to ask for things in English, from simple to complicated. English can be polite, impolite, then we have a uh, dialect that's uh, uh, very specific to certain regions, uh, even in America or other countries. There are many ways to ask and uh, answer questions, finding ways to bridge grammar from an elementary stage of uh, study to higher levels can make learning fun. So what do I mean by bridge grammar? Uh, well, grammar bridge or bridge grammar or bridging grammar is when we take a lower level of English and try to connect it to a higher level of English so that somebody uh, understands it a little easier than if we forgot about the early stage and just jumped to the higher stage. So when you refer to an early stage of English and connect it to a higher stage of uh, English, English grammar, uh, colloquialism, how we speak, uh, it often makes it not only fun, but easier for students to understand. At the earliest stages of our language learning journey, we learn uh, many ways uh, to easily communicate. At the higher levels, we learn how to articulate our thoughts in a more common and polite way. At the higher levels, we we have many more uh, methods of communication compared to the earliest stages. And that's what this particular video is all about. I want to help you a little bit go from that lower level all the way up to uh, a, 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 an advanced level in English. It's, uh, I call it grammar bridge because it's like climbing uh, either a ladder or going over the bridge from one side to the other. Indirect requests and offers are at the top of the list for politeness. So indirect requests, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Have fun with this, with this topic and please ask your teacher to work with you. And I don't care what level you're learning English at. This is, very, uh, this is a very important subject and using the, uh, the idea of uh, bridging grammar or grammar bridge is a great way to move up that ladder to proficiency in the English language. Here are some indirect requests in present simple. I would like some coffee. Now, I didn't look at someone and say, give me coffee. I could say, can I have some coffee? Can I have some coffee? Could I have some coffee? Those uh, are all direct requests. Now this one, I would like some coffee. Now you notice I didn't contract I would. I'm going to do that in the next slide. But I would like some coffee. If somebody said to you, what would you like uh, with breakfast, juice or coffee? Well, I would like some coffee. That would be a great way to answer, and it would be a great way to ask someone for coffee. Here's the contraction. I'd uh, like some coffee, please, someone. You see, instead of saying, uh, give me coffee, or will you give me coffee right now, right? Or instead of saying, give me coffee, you see? Uh, I'd like some coffee, again, going from that lower level, to a higher level of English. I would like to watch a movie. That's an indirect request without a contraction. I'd uh, like to watch a movie, somebody, would you? You see, I might follow that up with another statement. What would you like to do tonight? Someone might ask you that. Maybe it's an advanced speaker of English or someone who is, uh, has uh, uh, English as their native language. So in this case, I'd like to watch a movie, somebody, or yes, I would like to watch, or I'd like to watch a movie tonight. Let's go. Uh, here is a polite offer in present simple. Would you like some coffee? Now you see how I turned the table. Now it is an offer. Would you like some coffee? Oh, yes, I'd, I would love some coffee, or yes, I would like some coffee, please. Very, very polite. Would you like more, re more dessert? So you're at the dinner table, uh, you've had uh, dinner already, and uh, the person who uh, is hosting you, or maybe it's at home, husband, wife, somebody says, hey, would you like some more dessert? And uh, of course, you're going to say yes. 
a polite offer for the future. Hey, would you like to watch a movie tonight? Now, if I just said to you, and we hadn't talked about time, and I'm sitting by the television, right, or the monitor, hey, would you like to watch a movie? It means right now, doesn't it? Now, maybe it's in the morning. Maybe it's in the afternoon, and I said, hey, hey, would you like to watch a movie tonight? I don't have plans yet. Something like that. Definitely for the future. Tonight is an adverb. I put a time expression in there. And uh, this statement is present simple for the future. Would you like to visit the park tomorrow? Again, tomorrow is an adverb, and we're talking about tomorrow. So this is an offer for the future. If I just said, hey, would you like to visit the park? And what it really means is right now, unless you and I understand what period of time we uh, are talking about. Don't confuse would you like with do you like. Now we're getting into this grammar uh, bridge or how we bridge grammar. Bridge, how we connect one level, uh, one phrase, one type of grammar to another to help you speak better English. So, would you like and do you like. Would you like is an expression used for a one time offer. Would you like to go to the cinema tonight one time? Would you like to have some pizza right now? Would you like to have some coffee with your dessert right now? You see, that's a one-time offer. Do you like is used to ask if you like something every day or all the time. Hey, do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Every Friday we go out. Hey, do you like exercising in the morning? Yes, of course, we go every day. Examples might be, do you like reading? Yes, I do. Do you uh, like riding your bike? Yes, I do. Do you like taking photos? Yes, I do, because I do all those things often. Do you like your job? Another uh, simple answer, again, this is all about present simple. Hey, work with your teacher on this subject. Blended learning is the best. What is blended learning? Blended learning is when you learn on your own, it could be based on a teacher's uh, request or giving you a homework assignment of some kind. You go home, you do some homework, uh, you study a certain subject, and then you come back to your classroom, maybe with other classmates and your teacher, and you share what you learned. You share what you learned at home by studying a certain subject. I want to thank you for joining me today. Have fun with English.